crystal hunt is the adventure and the puzzle, and the prospecting element is actually how you can learn to find crystals everywhere. So what we're doing today is kind of a basic lesson in prospecting. We are going through the steps that you would want to follow to actually find them. So what I usually do to start things off is I use a website called Mindat. And when I look on Mindat in the region I'm in, I see what people have found. It's an international database where people log their discoveries. But since crystal people don't just tell you where they are, they log the general vicinity. So you have to go find that rock. You take your car, you drive around. I mean, you can do this on foot as well. But basically you go through and look at what's been done over time. So you look at stone walls, you see if the type of rock that you're looking for is in there, and when you see chunks of rock, you might see little sections of crystals in them. Then you know you're in the right place, and then you want to find where that rock came from. This is some quartz. This is like the schist. This is again like some limestone. When looking for crystals, it's really important to find the right type of rock. And um, when you want to find certain types of crystals, they usually form in certain types of rocks. And the type of crystals that we're looking for are smoky quartz, and there are a certain type of smoky quartz that forms in something called an alpine fissure. And as far as I know, alpine fissures usually form in a very solid granite. But I think we should maybe just drive up by around that, that quarry and we can get a look at what's underground. Just see if it's where all these big granite blocks come from. We're on the hunt to find some Greek crystals. But it's not, again, what we want. The whole point is here is we're trying to diagnose like the correct rock formation so we don't just start walking around for no purpose, which can happen often. So uh, let's keep going on the hunt. That's curious. It's curious, huh? Yeah, yeah, this is the that's it's hard to calcare, it's not du grey. Never hesitate to ask the locals, because you never know when one of their family members or friends actually goes and looks for crystals and they can just call them on the phone. So we had our luck. We, we had somebody drive by and we tried to ask them and see if they knew anything about crystals. We're uh, visiting here for some rock climbing and we're on a little expedition to look for crystals in Aliveri because we're interested in finding crystals, which we saw that... Crystals? Uh, yeah, quartz. First name and last name? Uh, quartz crystals like um, quartz, but they didn't know anything. We've only found quartz veins that have just milky quartz, which are, it's just the, it's just quartz, it's not a crystal. So we're gonna continue our journey. There might have to be an episode two here because at this point um, it's getting late and I don't think we're gonna find the hard granite, but I think we will someday.